Welcome to Living with Osa. This is just a space where I'm free to be me. Hey guys, Osa here. So I'm going to teach you how to make your own hair growth oil. If you're interested, just keep on watching. Some quick math facts. Two ounces are going to equal four tablespoons. The next thing is when you're working with your essential oils, eight drops in one ounce is going to be one percent. So depending on how strong you want your mixture to be, that's the rule of thumb that you want to use. Uh, we're going to be using four ounces, so I'm going to just multiply that eight by the four, which is going to be 32 drops. That's going to give us our 1% for our mixture. So if I wanted to make my mixture stronger, I would simply add 16 drops of an essential oil per one ounce of a carrier oil, which will now bring me up to 2%. Uh, when you're working with rosemary, it, the recommended dosage is um, not to exceed 3%, which would be 18 drops per one ounce of a carrier oil. So I know with math it gets kind of tricky sometimes, but just, you know, be careful. If you're not sure, always add less, okay? And you're done please enjoy uh, leave me a comment down below if you use the oil and you felt like you've had some progress if you want to make your concoction stronger feel free to just double the number that we use please do not exceed three percent okay read up on all essential oils that may cause problems i know off the top of my head sage parsley uh, there's a couple of other ones that pregnant women should not use uh, so just please be careful. I would say research um, any essential oil that you're planning on using before using it, okay? So there you have it. Have a good night. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I just wanted to say, living in my truth has been the greatest gift I could ever give to myself. Until next time, everyone.